Number five, uh, so it's complete and balance the uh, equation for this reaction in an acidic condition. And it's asking us now which element was oxidized, which element was reduced, which species was the oxidation agent, which one was the reducing agent. This is number five. So I have, let's write down this equation here. I have Zn S plus NO3, sorry, NO3 minus the yield Zn2 plus, or Zn2 plus, sorry, plus S plus NO. Okay, so in order for us to solve this problem, they didn't actually do a step-by-step -step solution here, which is unfortunate. We actually have to write down the, um, the half reactions to figure this out. And again, this is in acidic conditions here. So keep that in mind. So let me write down the half reactions first. So I have ZNS. There should be a charge on S here, but I don't, it doesn't say that they have, they have a charge here. So I'm just gonna write solid sulfur. ZNS is going to uh, dissociate into ZN2 plus plus S here. And then I have NO3 minus is going to dissolve into NO here. And what we want to do first is we want to balance out um, balance out anything that's not hydrogen or oxygen. And in case here zinc is balanced here, sulfur is balanced, and nitrogen is also balanced. So now we have to move on to our oxygens. Um, as you can see in the first half reaction, there's no oxygen, which is fine, but the second one does, right? I have three oxygens here and three and one here, which means I have to add water, right? So I'm going to have to add two waters to this guy here to make three oxygens balance. But now, as you can see, we have a different problem here. We have four hydrogens on this side, and I'm going to have to add hydrogens on this side as well. So which means I'm going to have to add four each plus to the side as well. And now what we can do is if I balance out the hydrogens and the oxygens, I have to balance out the charges as well, right? So let's balance out the charges. So I have ZnS plus uh, yields Zn2 plus and S. So I have a two, uh, two plus charge here and I have a neutral charge here, which means I'm going to have to add two electrons to the side. And then for this side here, I'm going, I have, a, this is a zero charge here and I have, this is negative one plus four, which is minus three. So therefore I'm going to have to add, um, gonna have to add a uh, plus three on three electrons on this side here um, which in this or actually sorry this would be a yes this would be a minus three I believe um, sorry this is a plus three so I have to make this a um, minus three which means I have to add three electrons to the side as well and then what I can do is I want to balance out the electrons so I'm gonna have to multiply both both equations by uh, the first equation by three and this equation by two here. So this here becomes three, 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 and this would be a six. So I'm going to erase this. And the reason why I do this is because I need to balance out the electrons here. And I'm going to multiply all of this guy by two. So this here is two, this here is two. This here becomes four. This here becomes two, or sorry, this here becomes eight, and this becomes six here. This is six here. Now, what we can do is we can simply put uh, both of the um, equations together, right? So I'm going to have three ZNS plus two NO3 minus plus H plus plus six E minus. It's going to yield, I'll write it on a different line here. 3ZN2 plus plus 3S plus 6E minus plus 2NO plus 4H2O. And as you can see here, the electrons are going to cancel out, which is great. That's good. And we are left with, um, with uh, the following equation. So we can say this is going to be equal to 3ZNS plus 2NO3 minus plus 8H pluses. Is going to yield 3ZN2 plus plus 3S plus 2NO plus 4H2O. And this here is going to be our equation. And as you can see, this equation is correct because we have 3ZNS, 2NO3 minus, 8H pluses, 3ZN2 pluses, 3S's, 2NO2s, and 4H2O's. So this balancing is correct, which is great. 
Now we have to point out, okay, which element was oxidized, which element was reduced. So let's look at our rules here. And remember our rule says Leo and Jer here for, this is the mnemonic for our oxidation reaction. So we know that the loss of electrons is going is the process of oxidation and the gain of electrons is going to be a reduction. The, so what we can see is if we look at our half reactions here, our Z and S here is going to be losing electrons, right? And, the, and NO3 is going to be gaining electrons. So which means the sulfur is going to be oxidized here. I'm losing electrons on the sulfur, um, which is good. So this is oxidized. And N here is going to be reduced because I'm gaining electrons, right? Two NO3 plus six electrons, which is good. Which means my, um, my oxidizing agent is going to be uh, NO3 and my reducing agent is going to be Zn. S here, which is correct as what they did here. Remember, the reducing agent is the one, that, one that's being oxidized, and the oxidation reagent is the one that's being reduced. So this solution here is correct. It's a good analysis as well. Oh, actually, I guess there's no, no analysis, so just say solution is correct, because they didn't really give us the step-by-step -step format for this. So the solution here is correct.